Oh. So, hello everyone. The computer says I'm I'm live and everything is going okay, but before I start rambling on on my usual things, uh the first question uh for whoever is online and I see already a couple of people online, uh can you let me know if you can hear me okay? If you can hear me uh and it's not too loud or not too harsh, uh please let me know cuz uh then I know. Hello, hello Johan, by the way. Hello Marlena. I hope you can hear me. Uh, and everybody can hear me. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put my mouse right next to me so that we don't uh, stress ourselves. Let me. Okay, that's all okay. Okay, so uh today's video welcome uh i know it's sunday and the usual uh sunday we do a live stream uh i had a, a nice um piece that i wanted to color together with you oh thank you marlena thank you that's awesome then then we can co continue right um i am continuing my quest to making a lot of um small designs and um let's say elements for what I want to create. So one of the elements that I want to do is lots of stickers, but also I wanted to create some wreaths. And this is why I came up with this design. So this design is um, it's kind of similar flowers, uh, but as you can see, it follows a certain path. So it follows a curve. And this one I can do, and then I can mix and match with different flowers, and then I can technically create a wreath. So this is what I'm doing. I'm creating elements so I can make more elements in the future. Um, and I've realized I was looking around and I realized that my style was, I mean, really nice. Everything super, super amazing. <laughs> uh, but my leaf designs and everything was um, not kind of what I was imagining. So I wanted to do some more experimentation and I wanted to learn how to use color better. So what I did so far in all of my designs, I was using uh, different shades of green for different things and I was just adding a little bit more darker green just to create the shadows, right? So what I've been doing in the last few days is I've been playing around with color. So let me show you. I've been doing some leaf designs and I was playing around to see what colors would work well together and, and how can I bring even more color to what I wanted to do. Um, in here, for example, I kind of paired uh, yellow with red and then this was green and blue. Um, in here, I added slight different variation of yellows and greens and even blues are the tips of these ones just to create the contrast so just creating contrast with different styles and I, then I was even trying to do different type of leaves different type of colors to see you know what works what doesn't uh, like blue ones and purple ones and 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 so on and I really enjoyed this uh, look this is also one of my favorite I think they really go well together, like this yellow with red uh, and with the blue, and the blue has a little bit of purple in it. I think they really go well, very well together. And even on this one, this is like a basil leaf, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more different. And I I added red on the leaf, and then in these other leaves, I added yellows, and so I was just trying to play around with it. Uh, because I thought that my leaf designs were a little tiny bit, and I say not not boring, but you know, I, I wanted to grow together with you guys. So you know, I tried different color combinations. These ones I really like, um, you know, olive greens. I added some reds. This was really an orange leaf, and so on. So you know, totally different leaf designs that I've been trying, um, and leaf combinations, right? Um, here, again, other examples where I used more red into the green and it creates more of a brown. Uh, and then some other leaves. These are very simple leaves, right? That, I mean, I didn't go all the way, <laughs> all crazy on it. Um, and then here I did some eucalyptus. 
and I really like this style. I really like the yellow with the blues and also this kind of blue with the purple. I think they go very well together, right? Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit more bold. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more bold designs um, from now on because I'm really enjoying this type of coloring. Um, and I'm learning as I, as I go. I am trying totally different combinations, totally different colors, different color sets and so on. So, you know, um, nothing is set in stone, but I, I really like the eucalyptus. So came up with this design. It has different leaves different has these kind of rounded leaves here it has uh, pointed leaves pointy leaves uh, has some more like um, roses kind of type of leaf um, which always works you know and then there's the flowers themselves uh, they are facing different directions so uh, we're just gonna get on with it and uh, and see where it lands us so I wanted to start with some of the leaves to be the yellow with the red because I want it. So there's two options. Either I use my graffiti into one or I use this is my whole bind set. Um, yesterday was funny. I was using I was using three palettes on my <laughs> on my <laughs> on my bench just to try out things. So yeah, that's that's always a funny one. But for now I'm gonna use my whole bind set, right? So I'm just going to pick some colors and for these purposes, I'm just going to pick them directly from the pan. I want them a little bit more uh, with more oomph. Let's put it this way. So, uh, let's see. Let's get into, into the story and um, let's talk about it. You might wonder why am I doing this. I, I, was, I was a little bit unsure myself, uh, to be honest, because I'm noticing. I, I was watching some more people some more other, other artists like on instagram or pinterest and to be honest i i saw other artists they kind of have one style it's like some of some of the artists are using basically the same colors for the entire year or um yeah they don't change much and I'm not sure it is because they want to have just people recognize their work or they don't feel the need to change that that could also be right um yeah I I always thought that I'm not there yet so what it could be that some of these artists they found their style so they have a style they have a very well defined style and then they don't need to uh, go further. They don't need to change because they've defined a style. And what it could be for me is that I have not yet found my final style that, you know, I'm just going to do it. What I'm afraid of is that I will, <laughs> I will maybe always be in the search for uh, changing and changing how I paint and changing styles and color combinations and then people might get a little bit like okay Claudia you know what you're doing um, but you know we're not yet there we're not yet there we don't know yet how and where so now I'm using a lizard crimson by the way uh, but I'm really enjoying the process of trying really new colors and being a little bit more bold than I used to be, <laughs> right? Um, I used to be like, okay, leaves are green, and that's it. <laughs> and uh, flowers can be only a couple of colors, and then that's it. And... Now I'm realizing that the reality is much, much different. Uh, that you can have yellow leaves and they can work very well with your other leaves. Like could be blue leaves, it could be any other type. Um, and they complement each other very well and they complement each other very good with 
the other leaves. Look, I made a boo boo here, so don't get mad at me. I'm trying to. It's always good to have a piece of paper or tissue paper just to soak up some of this. Okay, I'm gonna let that that one dry, and and we can go and start doing these other leaves here. Uh, which color should we do? I'm going to do this leaf green, and then we're gonna go with darker colors like terra verde and sap green and so on. So these are the nice ones. Okay. I I was not as courageous tonight as to uh, utilize some of my new. I bought a new color color palette. Um, it's from a girl that makes her own colors. So there's hand handmade with watercolors, and maybe I'll use it today. Maybe I won't. But uh, there's six colors, uh, really muted, really earth tony kind of, uh, really gorgeous granulation. I just need a little bit more confidence into using it, maybe, <laughs> in a way. Um, so I, I, I bought this ones. I bought some more um, uh, ceramic art palettes so I can mix and match some of my colors. Um, I'm not going to use it tonight, but, you know, this is what I've been doing lately. Um, and basically studying 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 color combinations um i haven't been doing like the real color theory but yeah still has been nice i've, I've been doing lots of experimenting and i think experimenting is key here <laughs> uh, because you really need to experiment a lot uh, so yeah i also wanted to use a lot you know all of my watercolors i don't want to i don't want to have to to look like i'm not using i i bought sets that i'm not using or something so you know i'm doing an extra effort to utilize more watercolors and more sets from what i have because i have so many gorgeous colors um it just takes time it takes time to learn um and I'm always like those leaves um, that you saw there. Drawing them was not that uh, that hard. I think I I did that on Friday. Um, so I was just drawing some leaves on Friday, but it did took me yesterday and today to actually <laughs> um, color them in. And I'm not sure why it took so long, but I'm always. Um, thinking it's going to take me much lesser time to color something than it actually does. Sometimes really frustrates me because in my mind I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, I'm going to do this and that. And actually uh, it is a little bit more involved than that. Um, but I enjoyed it. I went with some colors that I would never maybe would have gone to. Uh, things like blue and so on. <laughs> like, uh, when would I ever want want to go like that? Never. So, you know, I'm quite proud of myself for trying new things and trying trying to do. I even learned some new uh, digital techniques where I can cut this design. Uh, I just did the test, so I haven't actually cut many of the designs, but at least I'm learning. So I'm learning and studying and and uh, going there. I'm going to deepen some of these ones with some more darker yellow. Like this one. Okay. And I'm wondering if I add some yellow here. And now I'm no longer afraid of maybe mixing and matching colors. Um, and this is what a technique is. I, I don't mix the colors on my palette, as you notice, right? 
um, you don't have to because when you mix the colors on your palette it's a totally different technique and you might not end up with the colors that you need what I'm doing is um, I'm mixing the colors directly onto the piece so I'm putting my color down and it gets mixed into the piece uh, which is really nice uh, because it's basically it is a glazing technique that we are doing here so it really works well because you're glazing the color on top of it you're not mixing the two colors and then you get a totally new color uh, which is very good okay i'm gonna add some more of this red just to deepen some of the colors so i don't mind So maybe because I'm in the beginning of my journey, I'm seeing the change much more drastic than maybe other people would see it. Like maybe once you are an established artist, like you're an artist and you're doing this for like many, many, many years. And you're like, yeah, I've done that, seen that. I know what I like. I know I don't like. It's very probable that then maybe you stop experimenting, right? Because maybe you already experimented with everything that needed to be experimented. So, yeah, could be. Uh, for those of you who don't know, what I'm using is... I have lots of cat hairs everywhere. Um, this is Arches Watercolor Paper Cold Press. Um, and I've been using Arches a lot lately. That's okay. Because I really like how the colors blend in, in, in it. Um, uh, this ones, these ones I wanna do. Should I do? Yeah, let's do. Let's do green with blue. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going to start doing this. So I'm, I'm taking cobalt green. Cobalt green is a green that is very close to, it's very close to blue, right? Actually, whenever I'm seeing cobalt green, and I know that they're saying it's cobalt green, uh, I'm still seeing it as green. I don't necessarily see it as blue. That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it. I think this will look nice and then we're gonna go with blue and the blue I'm gonna choose is going to be a uh, Prussian blue I'm gonna see how that <laughs> that works out um, yeah dun, dun, dun. I could have gone with pink though you know pink would have been also really nice so what else happened this week uh, that we haven't talked about. So I missed one live stream uh, and I missed it on a Wednesday. Uh, that's because uh, we got a little bit sick and um, like my husband injured his back. I had again the allergy. So I really didn't didn't feel like I was feeling more like sleeping rather than doing a live stream. And usually... I kind of tend to listen to my body whenever that happens because it's always a good idea to go and have a sleep, <laughs> um, which was the best choice at the moment. Uh, so we uh, we missed the Wednesday stream, uh, but that's okay. You know, think these things happen. I can never, I can never say with a hundred percent surety that. You know, all the streams will happen exactly on Wednesday and uh, and Sunday. But um, don't worry. Majority of the time it will be okay. But yeah, th this happened to be like this. Now I'm going to take the Prussian blue. Prussian blue, by the way, I started liking Prussian blue like a lot. Uh, and I, I devised the plan because I needed to... I need to start getting out of the uh, comfort zone 
And you notice that in my pieces, I very rarely, and when I mean very rarely, I mean very rarely, use blue. And I don't use blue because I just don't know blues. I usually don't like how blues um, dry out. Some of them dry out like really pale and really weird. And I never pretty much found a way to work with blue. Uh, maybe that's why I don't use blue a lot in my pieces. But I think I should. And now that I've been using the Holbein one and I've been experimenting with blues, I'm starting to figure out what are the blue colors that I actually enjoy working with and what are the ones I don't enjoy working with. But so far, Prussian blue has been one of those interesting ones that I really like. So. Uh, what else have I been doing? We've been trying to, I know, weird talking about food and stuff. We've been trying to clean out the fridge, so we haven't bought anything new. Uh, because we wanted to start again with the keto diet and it's always good to clean up the fridge and clean up everything that you have. Um... Wow, I wasn't expecting it to to go like that, to bleed like that in there. It's probably because I'm doing this. Normally I would rotate this a lot, but I'm not rotating right now. Which could be explained as to why I am making so many mistakes. Because usually I'll be much more careful. Well, because the whole thing... It's okay, I have a tissue paper, so should be fine. Uh, okay, I will deepen the color a little bit uh, later on. Uh, welcome for whoever is on, on, on the line. Um, so now we're gonna do something that may be a little bit controversial. So we're gonna go with uh, indigo and purple. And I'm gonna use this indigo here. At least with this leaf. Let's try it. So I'm going to try this. This is indigo. Um, oh yeah, what did I want you to talk about? I have been reading, okay. I know I shouldn't I shouldn't say this, but um, I found a book I was reading. Um, very funny stuff. It's with werewolves and you know mates and so on. And I was reading I was reading that one uh, because it's like light reading for me. You know, <laughs> it's like uh, you can finish it pretty fast. But I was realizing like I'm wondering what are they modeling those stories for so you know that i'm a big uh, i'm a big fan of nice stories or sci-fi fantasy stories and i always try to make my own stories about my own my characters that i do and i was just trying to figure out this whole where does this whole werewolf lore come from and why is everything depicted in the same way uh, for example, uh, you know, they all live in a pack house, so it must be a really big house if you have 50 people living there, and like, uh, okay, uh, you know, and there's a very strict hierarchy, it looks like a caste system, and, you know, these guys are, are part of the pack members, and they're all doing their work. And uh, I was more interested in the girls, you know. So there's these girls and, you know, one of them is the Luna or the, the wife of the leader of the pack. And, uh, you know, she's helping around and some other girls are helping around. And they were like, 
oh, we're going to do our hair now, you know, we're going to go shopping, we're going to prepare to uh, to do all these kind of things. And I realized that that is probably such an American thing to do because I cannot remember uh, at all <laughs> an instance where either in my country or here the girls would have behaved like that, right? <laughs> it's like... I don't remember how that that goes, but I'm pretty sure that is not something that uh, <laughs> that happens. I mean, I I remember, you know, my friends or my mom's friends. Let let's take it even from my mom's friends, how they come and they they come to they come to visit or, you know, how they behave. But usually, it's never like that. It's never. It's never like we are all living together and we're, you know, I'm going to decorate your room and you're going to decorate my room and, you know, I'm going to do your makeup and things like that. I have never, ever seen that in real life. So I was just, I'm just assuming here and, Okay, forgive me if my assumption is the wrong one. I'm just assuming here that this is modeled after somehow this close-knit communities in America. Because that's the only explanation I can find. Because I'm like, usually um, authors get this stuff from real life, right? They, they get their... Um, They get their inspiration from real life. So I'm just assuming that this is where they got it from. Like I'm I'm assuming some sort of, I don't know, Mormon communities or something like that. And that's how they, they have this house. Um, they have a leader. They, uh, they go together. Um, and they're much more into... I'm not going to say pack life, but, you know, into a very close-knit community. (laughs) Which is, uh, sometimes it surprises me that I'm noticing these kind of things. Because, you know, it's about werewolves and stuff. And I was like, I was trying to transpose what was happening there to, like, let's say my country or to the Netherlands. And I think, man, if these people would have lived in the Netherlands... They would have been found out like super fast because nobody behaves like that here. <laughs> and it would have been so weird and they would have been so uh, out of out of place. Uh, because you're supposed to also you're supposed to also behave like because you have to go to the normal town, right? Like you're a werewolf, whatever, but you still wanna experience the life and you go to the town or you go to uh, to a date and so on and I'm like yeah man but that's not how that's not how things go so yeah I don't know if you guys have been reading books lately but this is what I'm observing and it's very very interesting observations Okay, those are some leaves. I'm just wondering what other leaf I should do. Like this, should I do an extra one? Or should I not? Uh, okay, let's let's just try to do this ones. And we're going to do them with this olive green kind of situation here. Uh, and... That's going to be something very interesting, something very much like in a totally different direction than what you were expecting. I'm supposing that I'm going to have to do this one the same way, but we'll see. Uh, so this is what I've been doing. So I've been reading a book. I've been painting a lot. I've been trying to also rest. For example, yesterday... I had to rest because I was feeling very tired. So, you know, in the middle of the day, I went and I 
I went for a rest. Um, napped. On the other hand, I have not gone out of the house in a very long time. So I'm thinking I'm starting to feel like I'm pretty cooked up right now. So I'm hoping I can, you know, start exiting or in in the house. I'm just testing things out. I'm adding some blue to this leaf. Maybe some yellow. You won't see the yellow. You can see the blue though. Okay. Oh yeah, what did we do more? We did the taxes, man. <laughs> the taxes uh, we had to do uh, because the taxes are due uh, somewhere in March in the Netherlands. No, not in March. Just in May. So we did uh, we did the taxes. Wasn't that hard. And I'm glad I got them out of the way because taxes are always very nerve-wracking to do. You never know when you're going to make a mistake or not. So I was like, I am glad I did them. And I am glad they are done. And then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, we're going to do this other leaf here. So, doing the taxis. I was actually watching a different live stream today from somebody else. And I noticed that they had the music on. And I'm, I really need to go and look for the music. And figure out whether or not I... I can actually play the music on a live stream. I need to just figure things out. Uh, because sometimes I'm thinking, okay, I, I would really need some sort of music during a live stream. And that would make much more sense. Uh, okay. And I know that this is a kind of weird combination of colors, but trust me, it works. At least in my mind it works. So, we're going to be okay. Um, I'm adding some more of this blue to this leaf. I know, it's weird, right? Adding blue, but I believe it makes the leaves look really nicer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some more leaf here. I kind of also stopped... I stopped looking at the, like I used to be quite obsessed for a few days. I used to be quite obsessed and oh, constantly look at the stats of videos on who's watching, who's not watching, what's going on. Um, and it kind of became an, a sort of an obsession for me. And I stopped doing that. I decided I'm not going to look. Because if I look, I I get really frustrated because I don't know it. It sometimes feels like it's luck or not. All of these statuses. So I've decided. You know what? I don't care anymore. We're just gonna do what we're here to do. We're just gonna do art. We're just gonna have some fun, and then we will see what happens. At work, there was a lot of discussion about when are we coming back, when are we coming back to um, the office. And yeah, that is a tough one to have, right? That is one tough discussion to have because, to be honest, I have no idea and I don't think anybody has. The Netherlands we are discussing doesn't really have a very good track record with all these vaccinations. So, all in all, <laughs> it does look a little bit weird. Okay, because these ones are too... I think this leaf I need to do with the yellow and the red. 
I mean, we were looking at the vaccination rates for the Netherlands and we were almost at the last place in Europe. And this is something we were discussing, like how come it's so bad in here and why aren't vaccinations going faster? Um, because I'm pretty sure everybody got the same number of vaccines um, as in per country because that's how they they give the that's how they bought it right they that's why they bought it centrally in Europe so that they can distribute it and say well your country has this many people so you're gonna get you know this many this many vaccines but that doesn't justify why the percentage is basically only Oh, hello, Andre. Good evening. How are you? I only now saw your message, so... <laughs> right? Okay, I... <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to not say anything anymore because I don't understand why with the same number of vaccines things go so slow here, to be honest. I just wish that they would go much faster. Um... This way, everybody can go back to the office and then we have some, some some normality back. But I don't know what's going on. On another order, like, I ordered, it's okay, I just wrote it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then I was just, like, looking up, like, oh, okay, Andre is here. <laughs> I uh, I found that there is a big community of artists in the Netherlands that also have shops and everything, and I, I bought from them. And uh, that particular uh, palette, one of the palettes I bought for some, somebody that uh, uh, lives in Zweindrecht, 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 yes. I bought it directly from there. Uh, which is very funny because I, I never knew that there was such a local community of watercolor artists that are are making their own paints and they are also selling them and so on. I was like thinking the Netherlands is not that big into this whole art world. Don't know why, don't ask. <laughs> so it's very funny how things turn out. Just adding random pieces of green here and there. Making making everything look a little bit more cohesive. Yeah. I think I need to add a little bit more blue. You can see now why Prussian blue is my favorite blue of all. And maybe for the flowers, for some of the flowers I'm going to use. I'm actually going to use that palette. I'm going to show you what I bought. If you want to know who I bought it from, I uh, posted it on my stories, so you can you can go check that one out, and I'll probably make a post out of it as well. Okay, so I think the leaves are done, and I'm just going to have to let them dry out. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the other palette. I'm gonna talk about it, and we're gonna talk about what I did. Okay, I'm going to put this one a little bit to the side because I really need the space. Um, just gonna pretend I don't need it for now. <laughs> so you might think, oh, is this a Sennelier box? No, it's not. It's just a box. It's not Sennelier pens in it. Uh, this was, I had 12 pens of Sennelier. I throw them away just because I don't like Sennelier anymore. <laughs> Lots of famous artists come from the Netherlands, so art people are enough, I guess. Yes, now that you mention it, I'm realizing lots of art people come from the Netherlands, right? But, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, so this is a swatch I did, that I did with the colors. Uh, so they came really nice packed, uh, really nice individually packed. And you can see that they're handmade. So these are handmade watercolors, they're vegan watercolors. Uh, where did I, uh, I don't have the, uh, business card here, but it is somewhere around here. Anyway, um, there, 
um, there's a simple easy watercolors something like that and uh, this was the matte set plus the two ones so these ones are um, are a little bit more like um, kind of metallic watercolors uh, really beautiful and these are just matte watercolors and the reason why I took it is because I needed some more muted colors and I really liked the two greens this green was especially I liked because it was more like sage green and I wanted to get into um, doing some um, watercolors for um, like herbs like garden herbs or something like that and I really like this green as well and this blue I was like hmm I'm not sure about this blue but actually it granulates a lot so I don't know if you can actually see it here what does it mean granulated uh, you see that it has flecks of flecks of black in it and this one is granulating as well this looks more like a reddish brown and this is more like a burnt umber slash brown like sepia really nice um, and you can see that it granulates and actually the color separated and it's more of a brown with red this one so really nice colors it is a limited color palette so i'm waiting for her to come up with more colors so that they're nice but um yeah this is i put them in here and you might wonder how come they don't move or anything actually i have some magnets on the bottom of the pants and you know there's sticky tape on there and that's why they don't necessarily move so what we're gonna do while we're talking is i'm going to add a little bit drops of water on top of it to just uh humidify it yeah yeah i guess i guess the art community is quite big in the netherlands i just did never knew it right um it's very possible that i i never knew that the art community is so big uh, and now i'm starting to notice a little bit more i'm starting to notice a lot more people that are doing art in the netherlands and i'm really enjoying this because if it, i feel more correct connected to them because they are uh, pretty close by so that's why I feel more connected, I guess. Um, what did I want to use? I wanted to use the purple and the red, uh, the purple and the blue uh, for the flowers. Uh, so on this one, I'm going to do it with blue. Okay. And then this red in combination with some more their vent red. I'm going to use on a different flower, like, let's say, this one. Yeah, that will work. That will work. And does that mean that the middle one needs to be more yellowish? Probably. Probably. Uh, while I let this one uh, do that, um, does anybody have any questions? Why I let it uh, combine perfectly? Okay. Because maybe some people have questions. You might be wondering what's going on. What happened? It's really beautiful blue. This one. And I'm a little bit afraid. Because blue can be very overpowering. So you know, I'm going to take very careful care for it. Um, so... I realized while watching a lot of the videos that actually making watercolors is very hard um, because there's no defined ratio of you go like yeah this is how I make watercolor this is how I do handmade watercolors and and all these companies that are selling watercolors the reason why they're selling it probably so expensively is because um, it takes a long time till you figure out the formula. So I was watching some of these artists on Instagram and the amount of time that they spend mulling the watercolors and testing things. And then you have to let them dry for 30 days or more. You have to see how they behave and, uh, you know, how is the... Um, 
how is the water behaving how how do they crack do they crack too much do they become crumbly or not you know it's an entire pro it is like an r and d process you know it's like a process for um that takes forever and i am a little bit in in all um at how patient these people are that are making the watercolor so um yeah i i believe handmade watercolors can be very hard to make and can be very 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 time consuming so yeah this is something that i never thought i'm going to say i never thought i'm going to say because in my in my mind i always wanted to create watercolors myself to have my own watercolors but now i'm realizing wow that's going to be <laughs> um very interesting like that's going to take me a long time can you imagine it takes you almost as long as it takes me to learn how to draw and watercolor to learn how to make the watercolors themselves and to ensure that they are long lasting and they don't mold and all of that which is like insane if you ask me like these people don't get paid enough to do this <laughs> don't know and i'm by the way i'm using the purple now I'm just gonna add some depth of purple i think i added too much water too much water is not good I wanted next time to do uh, some small pieces of explanation on how how to do this uh, kind of galaxy watercolors um, because I found that for example with a graphite tint you can get a really nice one you can get a really nice uh, watercolor effect because they are so transparent and you know they can they mix very well and then they have this black inside right so that's why i think i'm going to have to turn this piece around because there's no way for me to to do this flower in a way that will allow me to i'm i just wanted to add a little bit more I think I put too much water inside the pan, but it's going to be okay. I wanted to add some dabs of this red in here. This is not a realistic flower, right? I, I don't know which flower would have this kind of, this kind of color. Don't ping me on it. It's okay. Okay, what else? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, there was this other girl also on Instagram. Um, you know, I'll I'll post the links in the description for whoever wants to look at it and and see it. Um, there was this girl. Uh, she was going around in in towns like Utrecht and so on, and she was getting uh, like rocks from the road or from the forest, and she was making her own pigments from the rocks. Which I thought that is amazing because that must be very difficult to do, um, right? Okay, I'm going to do these other petals. Let's see how that works. I'm when it's gonna dry, it's gonna dry so beautifully, and I think I need to make this one much more purpley because then otherwise this leaf doesn't stand against the flower so you might get it lost leaving a small border here I'm using really the tip of my brush to do watercoloring around the stamen which I actually want the stamen to be yellowish so I need to be very careful not to not to kill the 
the colors around. Yeah, so lots of nice and awesome artists from the Netherlands that I could see. Um, and maybe when this is all over and we can meet people again, maybe then I can also try to be part of this community, try to meet with them, try to go to uh, art expositions or something like that, because I think that would be cool. I would be able to feel a little bit more connected to some people here. And I think the art community is really nice. I mean, I'm just assuming. I've never been connected to any art communities before, so I have no idea how that's gonna work. But I'm just assuming it's gonna be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, these are my, my things and my ideas so far. And yeah, I do realize I miss going out, but not going out even to meet with somebody, just normally going out, but I don't go out anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should go out more. Maybe I should make an effort to go out at least once a week or something. I can see some humans. It would be funny if we go out and then we don't... We're never gonna get used again to talking to people on the street or something. Or to our colleagues. That would be fun. I know it looks dark now, don't worry, it's going to brighten up. Or don't worry, like what's the worst, the worst thing that can happen is that I have to redraw this one again. <laughs> that would be the worst thing that can happen, that's fine. I can always redraw this one. And I'm making this one a little bit more purplish, pinkish so that the leaf stands against this one. I'm gonna add again some reds here and there. Maybe here. Red brownish, just to deepen some colors. Okay. And yeah, my cat really wanted to eat these new colors. Don't know why he thought he thought that was a very good idea to eat them. Um, so he got one in his mouth and he ran away with it. So I had to chase him <laughs> to relinquish, relinquish my watercolor pan. I think it's because they're vegan and they're done a little bit slightly, slightly differently. He thinks that. Um, Maybe it has a different smell or taste or something like that. So he might might have been interested in in that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now it now you can see that it looks very good because this one will be blue and this one will be a darker shade of this purple. So let's equalize some stuff in here. And then we're going to go in and I'm really thinking that uh, this one or some one of them will be yellow and the other one will have red. Okay, this looks good, looks equalized. 
uh, and this one already started granulating and it's so beautiful because it has this black granulation in it yeah okay 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 um, the middle one let's do the middle one with the yellow because it needs it needs to brighten up okay so what do we do I'm going to add yellow and then I'm going to add the red in it because I'm really liking the yellow with the red. So I'm using the yellow from the graphite tint one. And that's okay. I'm trying to go really a lot around with my pointed tip. So because we have all this stamen. And all this stamen, we're gonna do a different color. I'm not sure yet what color should it, should it, should the stamen have, but maybe maybe either I leave them white, which that could be, or we decide on a color. And. This will look nice and then I'm really going to add uh, red in it and then when you add red because this is graphite ink uh, so it's graphite ink and it's not watercolor it's gonna blend totally differently and it's gonna look really nice because it's not really gonna blend on paper it's gonna sit more on top of it and that's what's going to have a really nice color Okay, haha, <laughs> he also just wants to steal everything from your desk, indeed. So what Johan is saying is correct. Uh, my cat wants to steal everything that is on my desk. I have no idea why. Um, like I had some ceramic palettes <laughs> on my desk, which is very funny. I'm like, uh, I just bought them. And I was afraid he's going to just drop them. He almost dropped one. He was like with his little paw trying to put one <laughs> down. And I think he just wants to see how things go. How things look like. Um, like if they break, he wants to see that. I don't know. He's just a rascal. That's what I, I always say. And um, I prefer to work at night because there's, let's say, lesser people at night that can, don't know, bug me. But he's awake at night and he comes on my desk and he just sits on my watercolors. He just sits on my papers. He doesn't want to go away until I petted him for like hours. Uh, very distracting cat and that's just because I am choosing to work at night like last night I was staying up till 3 3 o'clock at night because I was doing I was doing some nice watercolors and he was there and he stayed the whole night with me and that's because they, they sleep now they, they sleep and they kind of sleep the whole day and they don't care the entire day. They don't care until come night. They go like, oh yeah, now we care. <laughs> now we care. So I'm going to do some red. So let's introduce some red. And I know it's a little bit more red than what you were expecting. But it's going to be okay because we're going to blend it out. Let's see how we can blend these ones out. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I made a to-do list with all the stuff that I needed to do at work. And I was surprised that it had only 36 items. And I was like, yes, 36 items. Okay, 10 of them are separate, <laughs> separate presentations that I need to do. And I was like, yeah, there's 36 items, but they're big items. <laughs> so I don't know how uh, 
you guys are. Sometimes I'm thinking I really just want to spend some time doing some art. But, you know, you got to work. Work is important, otherwise you're not getting, not getting paid. Right? And it's not like artists uh, are known for living the good life. Of course, there are some artists that are doing that, but uh, you gotta be like the top of the top of the top. I would assume. I was actually researching what do you need to do to uh, get into an art gallery. You might wonder why. And then I was like, yeah, well, I want to be, you know, I also want to be in an art gallery. I want to be shown uh, or something. And it's like, yeah, well, you need to work totally differently. So now you, I'm working on, okay, I need to have a product. I need to... Um, I need to draw certain things so I can post them on different social media or on different mediums and that I can make things like uh, stickers out of it or something. But when you are doing things to get published or to get into a gallery, um, that is a totally different type of work. So, you know, people want very specific things from you. And yeah, that is sometimes that is a bit worrying or not worrying, but you know, interesting. Mm, this one. So I did this, I did this color, this one. What should it be? Uh, what should it be? I'm really struggling to think right now. What color do I want? Do I actually want uh, more very light purple? Yeah, why not? It will be an interesting contrast. Like I said, I can always redo this. <laughs> it's not a problem. Um, going to add lots more details to everything so uh, very light very light purple I guess this aubergine 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 is what we need let's see if this works this is not very light but that's because I put a very big wallop so I need to really spread it around. Yep. So we're gonna do very light these colors and then we're gonna add some different Maybe some blue or something to it. Yeah, and this time I'm going to turn it around onto the other direction. Okay. And I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to color, you know, pulling towards me. Because that's the easiest thing. It's the easiest way to color. And this time is I'm making it very light and fluffy. So I'm thinking now that the weather outside is pretty mad because it was sunny today but it was super cold and how do I know that? I went into the garden I mean I do have a garden 
makes no sense for me not to use the garden. Um, so I was using the, I went outside and I thought, oh, it's nice, it's sunny. Uh, no, it was sunny, but it was so cold. <laughs> so I'm just thinking that weather is very strange because usually it would have been much warmer this time of year it would have been more uh, t-shirt kind of weather but it's still very cold so you can't do much and it has been raining the last days uh, but nowadays yeah it's a bit I'm hoping that at the end of next week it's gonna be nicer. Oh yeah, one of my friends said to me that the Kirkenhof has opened because they're doing these tests where they let a number of people in and you do have to test yourself before you get in um, uh, and you are allowed to get in. And the Kirkenhof, for those who don't know, uh, is a part in the Netherlands um, with lots of flowers, like all the tulips and all the stuff. Um, tulips and all sorts of... Like it's a huge botanical garden, basically, right? So, um, what you found out is the specific thing. What do you mean, Johan? Sorry, I'm, I missed. What was I talking about? What did I find out? Uh, is it be, uh, from the Kirkenhof? Is this the thing we're talking about? Don't want to put you on the spot, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a very specific thing, I guess. Um, if it's about the Kirkenhof. I guess they wanna they wanna try out to see whether they can reopen some bigger parks, and it's nice because yeah, reopening is I guess what everybody wants. I was reading in the news that, um, for example, in Amsterdam, everybody wants to go to the park because everybody thinks, well, oh, the art gallery. Oh, the art gallery. Oh, yeah. So, in you have to make, for the art gallery, you have to make some pieces that are really concise and they all come, they all go together, basically. So, you have to make kind of like an exposition about, around the theme. Yes. Um, so, you have to have a theme. I can't just go with like my watercolors there right it has to have a deeper meaning and it has to be i don't know vetted and yeah, like my artwork is never super clean or never super um like perfect <laughs> my artwork is like a mismatch of things and i like it and this is what i like but that will never go on a gallery because you know none of my pieces look uh close to each other or anything right so i would have to i would have to do a lot more things to get it more cohesive i guess and also apparently you do have to have quite a following also on social media for any art gallery to even consider you uh, which which for me sounds like but if I have like a considerable following on social media, why do I need a gallery in the first place, right? <laughs> why would I need it? <laughs> uh, what's the point? Okay, I really like that this one is much lighter than this one. This is really dark and you can see that I use these colors. Uh, so, it's like I don't know why they're making, like I think that I mean, who goes anymore to the art gallery? Like, is, is that a thing anymore? To go to an art gallery? That means you need to have some sort of big concept. Yes, that, that, that exactly is what, what it means, yeah. 
you need to have like a concept you think like i don't know rebirth or i'm just doing random things like i'm thinking of escher like a big concept like um, never ending something like uh repeating patterns or you know it has to have a bigger meaning than i mean for me the flowers do have a big meaning right because they're my flowers and i i really enjoy them and for me they mean something uh, they might remind me of my family of you know my uh grandpa who was really big into flowers and so on um that doesn't mean that yeah it has to be a little bit more has to have a little bit more meaning than what the meaning is for just me i think this is what i i was realizing um okay i'm actually considering using this one for the stamen uh like this uh, nice yellow <laughs> just but i i really need a little tiny 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 brush so i'm going to go and look into my brush they're probably closed now yes probably nobody goes to, to art <laughs> to art uh, pieces right now that is true they're probably pretty much closed so i have a drawer with all my brushes because i keep my brushes flat this is the best way to store them flat because if you don't store them flat then they get they can get really um, frayed and, and so on. So I store them in a drawer, all of them. And I have this brush, which is uh, an angle spotter. I have no idea what an angle spotter means, but, you know, I'm just, um, it's always uh, a nice one. So I'm going to try to pick up some of this nice yellow. I think this palette works well when I'm, I'm going to want to do a different type of galaxy or, uh, you know, because these are really matte colors, but they are so vibrant that it's very hard, uh, right? They are very vibrant. Oh, yeah, look, I had a good idea. Like, it's the best idea ever. And they need to be super closed down. Yeah, so art gallery. Probably now they're closed. Nobody goes there anymore. I guess oh, a lot of socialites sh or how do they call them? These people that go to art galleries. <laughs> crazy people. These are the guys that go to art galleries. Oh no, not crazy people. People with, with money? <laughs> Is it true? Is it that people with money go to art galleries? I don't know. I'm realizing I probably never went to an art gallery. Or did I? I think I did. I went to a Romanian art gallery. In the I have never been to an... Like a real commercial art gallery where you go and you just buy things. Because, you know, insert random reason. <laughs> But yeah. Okay. That one doesn't work there. So I it worked there really nicely. I'm going to need my and now you're gonna see where my microphone is. Yes, my microphone is here. Oh, my white jump in because I really need this. Ah, okay. So I'm going to. I'm going to do this with the white job and Okay, that's good. This one, I don't think it needs much work. I really like this this flower because it's so airy. And now, I'm just going to add some dots 
here and there. Really making it like a galaxy. <laughs> Should I use some micro pens? Yes, maybe I should use some micro pens. I want to do some of these lines darker. Some of the lines on the leaves because they get a little bit lost in. I wanted them to be a little bit more not so lost. And I want you to add some more dots everywhere. Nice. I think I maybe I I will try some things from um, from next time, I will try that on a Sunday uh, to have much more earlier this live stream. I just want to see if I can catch some more people. Because I can imagine that in the evening, everybody's super busy because they need to prepare dinner for, you know, everybody at home. And, you know, it's already 8 o'clock, so I'm just wondering if I'm doing it at the beginning, like uh, 3 o'clock or something, so from 3 to 5, if that will work better. I mean, during the week, it's okay, but would it work better, actually? Okay, this is nice. Uh, it's a nice uh, gradation of things. So, yeah. Oh, oh, my cat is here. My cat is here. He came here and now he's sitting. Oh, he wants petting. Oh, I'm so sorry that you don't see him. Oh, he's going to purr now. Hi. Hi, happy. Did you wake up? Yes. He's like sitting. Sitting for pampus. This is how, go how we're going to call it. Okay. Thank you so much for staying with me. I really like these color combinations. I really like this kind of galaxy galaxy kind of style flowers. And I'm really enjoying how uh, this all came. Oh, can you see him? Can you see him? Happy, come here. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here. Come here. Yeah, now he started his thing where he comes and gonna sit and he's gonna try to steal my watercolors again. <laughs> Oh, hi. Yeah, you have absolutely no regard for my art, do you? No. <laughs> He's like, I'm here. I have arrived. I'm making things. <laughs> yes. Hi. 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 Okay. <laughs> the colors are really nice. Yeah, thank you. I really like it also, and I think it's gonna look really nice also as a sticker or as anything. I'm I'm starting to really like this type of coloring. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Now I'm going to take my leave because my cat, uh, when he comes, then he will not leave for the next hour or so. So he sometimes tries to eat my brushes and and everything. Um, but thank you. Don't forget, uh, if you really like this video, don't forget to give it a like or leave a comment um, if you would like to see something differently. And I hope to see you guys next time. I'm really enjoying the live streams so far. Uh, so thank you so much. Bye.